This is what we're going to make this forge out of. The guts of this furnace. Not particularly this furnace, but uh, one just like it. That's an 80,000 BTU four burner TUX model train. This one has a variable speed inducer, which is not viable for what I'm going to use it for. So I'm using one that has a standard single speed inducer. But the heart of this thing is right in here. It's these in-shot burners. All the newer furnaces, probably in the last 30 years that have been built, use the in-shot type burners. They're very adaptable to the way we want to make this thing work. We're going to take all these parts off of this thing and you know if you don't know where all the parts are going to go you may want to take pictures of it beforehand and stuff. We're going to use this top part, this burner assembly in the combustion chamber here and uh, we'll use an inducer, not this one, but we'll use a gas valve. We're going to use this combustion chamber here, the top part of this front plate that's underneath all this stuff. We'll use an inducer, not this one, as I said, but we'll use an inducer, the gas valve. All this stuff is going to be used. We're also going to use this flame safety control down here. And that whole thing is, the reason that's done is then I can have flame safety control. This thing will work automatically and it will be safe. Uh, the flame doesn't come on, it will shut down. All the safeties are pretty much intact. So I'm going to show you what this looks like when you start tearing it apart because you're really going to tear this furnace down into little bitty pieces. Here you can see I pulled the burners off. Uh, we're actually going to be able to preserve most of the flame safety controls that are on this thing. But what I've got now, the burners shoot right into here and I want these orifices. They're hooked up to the uh, heat exchanger so I have to remove these but then I'm going to mount those back up again on this plate. And I'll show you what I do there. So we pretty much got this thing tore down right now. A few other things, a few other screws here that have to come off to get this plate off. And I'm going to take this plate and I'm going to cut it right along here so I can use this whole plate assembly. Now once you've pulled off the front panel, this is the front panel here, you can uh, see the paint on it. And here's the combustion chamber, those are the parts we were looking at before. Now, this is a little different here. On the very top, that's where the combustion air normally comes in. The furnace was designed so that the inducer pulled air through the furnace. So the furnace was actually at a, a negative pressure inside the burners. This whole area here was negative. In this case, I've changed this and I've switched it to a positive pressure. So I've taken the inducer and put it on where the return air was, or where the return combustion air was. Now this is the pipe here that came off of the inducer in the furnace. This piece of pipe fit into this. I just cut it off, a little short piece of it right there, so that I could put it on to this uh, fitting here, and it fit fine. So now what I've done, this inducer is placed up here to pressurize this combustion chamber. And so that's going to put pressure on the burners and the burners will shoot out straight. Here is the integrated furnace control, the gas valve, we got a pressure switch over there. All those things that were safeties on this before, I put on here. Now here we're looking at the inducer from the side. Now this inducer was placed so that this side of it actually went up to the front panel and that's where it sucked in off of the heat exchanger. And there's a fitting there, that's this piece right here. Well I put that, took that fitting off of the heat exchanger and I mounted it here and you have to drill a couple of holes for it here or self-tap. Uh, so that that thing will mount on there. 
And then I've made an air shutter here. And you adjust that air shutter to get the proper flame and temperature that you want. So this is all set up. You, if you left this wide open, there'd be too much air moving through it and the burners would not light. Uh, you have to cut off the air somewhat. And that's a, it's a cut and try sort of thing. You get all this stuff mounted up. And uh, next, I'm gonna go into the safeties that are put on this thing and how they work and how I've had to change the safeties to make it work properly. I know some of you may have gotten kind of bypassed. Maybe this is a little too fast for you. Maybe you haven't covered everything I should. Send me comments and uh, say I didn't understand this or I didn't understand that. And I'll do follow-up videos on it so that maybe you can understand. Um, one thing, I'm a, an HVAC tech. And, you know, this stuff is really pretty simple to me. And I know it's not simple for everybody. But uh, this forge actually has worked out really good. So uh, if you want to build it and you can find the stuff to build it, uh, I'll work with you and try to get you through it. Okay, that's it on this one.